Today, we're going to do my first impressions of this, the Zero Zero Robotics Falcon V Copter. Holy shit, that's a mouthful. It doesn't get any easier saying that each time I say it. But this is a drone that I thought I would never ever review simply because I had zero intentions on purchasing it. No pun intended. But when they reached out to me asking if I wanted to look at it, I said, of course, I'll take a look at it. But there was some contingencies, some rules and restrictions to me making this video. So today we're going to talk about the restrictions they levied against me to be able to get this in my hands. And I'll talk about my first impressions. But first, I have to rip this fucking tag off. I didn't pay $24 for the shirt, but uh, Ross has some really great deals. It apparently doesn't like that. It was also very stupid. Don't do that at home. What's going on, everybody? Ken here. You're watching Original Dobo, and this is my first impressions of this the Zero Zero Robotics Falcon V Copter. Once again, holy shit, that is a mouthful. This is a bicopter unicorn, if you ask me. It was a drone that I thought would never ever come out. And uh, I did a lot of trash talking on this little guy for about a year now. This was first announced in 2020, December of 2020 or December of 2019. It made its public debut and it was actually officially announced at the 2020 CES in Las Vegas. Shortly after its uh, announcement, COVID-19 hit and basically ceased production and Zero Zero went into a deep sleep or hide in. I don't know what happened, but they just completely fell off the earth, taking people's deposits $100 at a time for a drone that at the time showed no sign of life or shipping. Fast forward to 2021, late summer, finally, 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 we had a sign of life and hope that this little guy was going to start making its way into backers hands. So this isn't one of these, this one actually came from Amazon. But let's quickly talk about how I ended up with this because it's been a little bit, right? So Zero Zero reached out to me or the marketing company that handles Zero Zero's public relations reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at this, the Falcon V Copter. And initially I was like, why would they be reaching out to me? Like of all the people, why me? I've talked so much shit about this drone for the past year. Why would you want me to? So I agreed, just thinking they're never going to send it. About a day later, I got a Amazon tracking notification because that's where this came from was Amazon. That's where they shipped it from. And it's not, it's really not abnormal for a lot of these companies overseas to utilize Amazon for their fulfillment. So that's where this came from. Shortly after it arrived, I received a second email from Zero Zero's marketing team basically giving me a list of rules. The first rule was they wanted to see any video that I was about to publish before I hit published. I, I, I couldn't produce a video if they weren't able to approve and look at the video beforehand. Rule number two was I wasn't allowed to say anything negative about this drone or any of its products pertaining zero zero. I wasn't allowed to make any political statements in regards to the drone or the whereabouts or origin of where the drone was produced, aka China. And I wasn't allowed to make any references or comparisons to any competing companies such as DJI, Autel, Unique, or any other drone manufacturer that directly competes with uh, Zero Zero. Okay? And then the last piece of it was they wanted to give me $200 via PayPal for my compliance in this matter. And oh, by the way, they didn't want me releasing any video until July 7th because they're about to do a massive blowout price reduction on these to about $7.99 because let's just face it, nobody's buying these things and they are sitting on shelves. Rightfully so, because there's a lot better drones for people to purchase. 
So if you don't wanna watch this entire video, you wanna know my full thoughts and opinions on this, I'll just get that out of the way right out of the gate so you don't have to watch the whole video. It's a cool drone, but don't buy it. Pretty simple, right? For everybody else, buckle up, sit tight. Let's get into my first impressions. So first impression upon picking up this drone for the very first time, and this is not the first time I've gotten a chance to see it. This is just the first time that I can see it. And if I break it, I really won't feel bad. Uh, the drone feels incredibly well built in the hand. Like it, it feels very solid. It has some serious heft to it, uh, which I like. It feels great. However, there are some drawbacks to this design because these arms stick out so far and because these basically these rotors we'll call them motors but they're they're literally rotors if if you think about it in terms of an osprey have to adjust and calibrate every time the drone actually powers on it sort of does this teeter thing on uneven surfaces so straight out of the gate huge design flaw yes they also make this landing gear you can clip to the bottom but it is inconvenient if you want to travel lightly if you are not traveling lightly, you can attach this additional landing gear, which does give it a little bit more stability when you are taking off on uneven surfaces such as grass or gravel or anything like that. Unfortunately for traveling light, I didn't feel like I wanted to use that. So I just either launched from my hand, which is a really bad idea, um, or I just launched from benches or, or tabletops or wherever I could basically launch from. Um, but I will say the build quality feels good. The gimbal is actually made out of like some sort of magnesium aluminum. So very good job on the build quality on the drone itself. The bicopter design is really, really interesting. I don't know if it's super practical, but it is very, very interesting. Um, huge, huge props, which is pretty cool. And I love when it actually gets ready to take off. It sort of does this auto adjust thing and it just, it looks super cool does have a USB-C port on the side here along with an area for an SD card. It does have some internal storage inside, which I did record to the internal storage. I didn't even put an SD card in it for my first flight. Shame on me. But um, yeah, it does, it does, you know, it works pretty well. The battery slips in from the bottom, which you'll either love it or hate that. It's a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. So it is a rather large battery and it does charge pretty, uh, pretty quickly actually. So... That is a good thing. So we'll clip that back in there. Let's talk about the RC because this RC is probably the cheapest thing about this particular drone. And the thing that I, I, I dislike the most is the controller. In the hand, it just feels super, super cheap. It feels like a, a cheap ass Hubson toy. Like it, it really does. It just screams Hubson made this. I, I came out of the twat of a Hubson manufacturer. That is how they got this RC. That's the only explanation for how cheap it feels. These little antennas are just absolutely garbage. I don't know which way, I guess you just keep them down like this. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Keep them down or up, I don't know. Either or way, it just, they feel cheap. I feel like I'm gonna break these things every time I fold them out. There's some dials here, these wheels for the gimbal controls. It feels super, super plasticky. Even right down to the stick, it just, I don't know, like there's no premium feeling. Like it's its metal, but it's like, we want to use the least amount of metal that we can when we manufacture these sticks. Like, yeah, of course you could probably upgrade these if you want it to, but just know that it just, there's nothing impressive about this RC. It just does not scream quality. So this is where like they must've ran out of like research and engineering dollars because uh, this thing feels like shit. Inside the box, you will get a USB-C cable. You'll get a micro USB-C uh, micro USB cable, but you're not going to get anything if you are an iPhone user. So iPhone users, you will have to supply your own cable. It plugs in right here on the front side of the RC. So yeah, not impressive at all. Um, my least favorite thing is the, um, is the controller. But how does it fly? Well, Surprisingly, it is incredibly stable, which is the most shocking thing. When I saw this back at CES 2020, it was bouncing around. It left a lot of doubt and question in my mind. But after flying it for the past couple of days and really putting it through its paces, I have to say it is super stable. Like I can sit there and shove this drone and it will not flip out. It'll just bounce back like a rubber band right back into the spot it was hovering previously, which is pretty crazy. So just simple hovering, I think it does amazing. It definitely does really well in the wind. 
The other thing that was pretty shocking to me was the ease of being able to orbit around objects. Now I'm gonna put a caveat on that because orbiting around objects with it, it does well, but there's often times where the gimbal just sort of loses itself and it has like this little glitch sort of in the orbit. It's not like totally smooth. The drone itself orbits really nicely. However, it feels like the gimbal is not keeping up with the drone per se. So that is something that they do need to address. But I mean, it does orbit really, really nicely. I feel very, very confident with that. And maybe that has something to do with the fact that there is two rotors instead of four props. I think that may have something to do with it, but it was definitely a lot easier. As far as the range of this drone goes, they say it's seven meters or seven, yes, yeah, it's seven meters. It's like, it's like 4.7 miles is what they're claiming. It's, I, I think it's seven meters or something to that effect, seven kilometers. Uh, but anyways, it's 4.7 miles is basically what it breaks down to when I did the conversion. Um, and I did not switch this over to feet on this particular unit, but I got about 1200 meters. Yeah, I think it was like 1200 meters in distance out of this before I started getting breakup. Now I wasn't flying incredibly high and I was also over water, but it was very, very laggy. It was very laggy. There was a lot of glitching. So I wouldn't really trust this to go much further than about 1500 meters or so maybe 2000 meters at the most, but I probably wouldn't push this very, very far. Um, I just don't have the same confidence. I did test out the return to home and it did return the home pretty safely. One of the nice things is I was flying out over water. I didn't have any fear that I was going to run out of battery because with this 50 minutes of flight time, it did seem to sip on power quite, um, quite easily. Like it was pretty crazy how it just sort of sipped on the power. Like I, I didn't even, I wasn't even worried about it at all, which I thought was pretty crazy. Um, all that horsing around I did, I still managed to have about 60% left of battery, which I thought was pretty good. So quite handily, two batteries would be more than enough for this drone. Like I would say, if you are interested in buying it, don't go crazy with buying a bunch of batteries. I don't think it's quite necessary because it does really get about 45 minutes of true flight time, which... A lot of times you hear 50 minutes or so, and I'm thinking, oh, at 50 minutes, we're probably going to see more like 35 minutes given this company's track record. But no, it was like 45 minutes of flight time. So I would say that that's pretty good. And that's about consistent what I've been getting out of this. So pretty impressed in that regard. All right, let's talk about this camera. It does have a, a CMOS compact sensor here. It's a 12 megapixel camera capable of shooting up to 4K 30 frames per second. This is where I really think the biggest drawback comes when it comes to this drone is the fact that we're so used to having such high-end specifications, such bleeding edge specifications that this drone was launched with, with yesterday's specs. And because it has yesterday's specs, it's just not as tangible as if it would launch with a camera that was far more impressive. Let's just face it. If four props will not make your ladies panties drops Two props will definitely not get the job done. It looks cool. Like it looks really cool. And people will walk up to you and say, wow, hey, what, what type of drone is that? And you can say, well, sir, this is a Falcon V-copter, top of the line, bicopter design. It only has two props to your four. It's much more efficient and it flies for 50 minutes. No, nobody gives a shit that it flies for 50 minutes because at the end of the day, if it is not an FPV drone, we're flying this because the camera has to be amazing. And if the camera is not amazing, well, what good is the drone really anyways? And this camera is just okay. I wouldn't say it's terrible. I just wouldn't say it's amazingly great. At the end of the day, nothing's worse than Power Vision's drones when it comes to cameras. But I would say that the V-Copter is definitely a, a close second in, in regards to you know dynamic range, color, and just overall image quality. Nobody is buying the V-Copter because it has an amazing image. You're buying it because it's something different. So as far as the camera goes, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's amazing. You can get about seven minutes of 4K, 30 frames per second footage on the internal storage. I accidentally maxed that out flying it around today, but you can get about, yeah, I'd say about seven minutes or so filming 4K. So if you need it to use the internal storage, you could in a pinch. Uh, but yeah, overall first impressions, I mean, 
it's it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's got a cool factor to it, but it's not something I would suggest the vast majority of pilots go out and buy. Not at the price point of $9.99 right now, not even at $8.99. $7.99, you're getting a little warmer. $6.99, maybe, maybe it is a collector's item at this point. It would be cool to have, but you drop that price point to $5.99, it becomes a lot more tangible. One thing I will give it to zero zero is there is a lower amount of latency with the transmission signal. The transmission is 2.4. It does not fluctuate back and forth between 5.8 and 2.4. It's fixed at 2.4. So keep that in mind that you are not getting the highest quality back down to your phone or tablet or whatever it is that you're using. I was using my iPhone and my iPhone was overheating. And um, yeah, it was just a really miserable experience trying to use that with this RC today. But I'll just say like in closing for my first impressions, this is not going to be the last video I'm gonna do with this. There is some new firmware updates for the RC, so I'm gonna go ahead and update that firmware. I do plan on doing like a full on review. I just wanted to go ahead and get my initial thoughts out on this now that I've had a chance to fly this and now, now I, I, you know, if I crash this, it's totally fine because it's mine. But I just also wanna set the uh, expectation for companies in the future. If you plan on having me review something, just know I'm never going to hold back. I'm always going to tell my audience exactly what they need to hear. And if I wouldn't spend the money for it, I sure as hell don't expect them to spend the money on it either. And this, while it'd be cool, it's just not something I could honestly and openly say, go out and buy. I just can't. It is cool, but it's not, it's not purchasable. It's just, I wouldn't do it. Not in 2022. There's too many great drones out there for a lot less and sometimes a little bit more. So there you go, Falcon V Copter, it's finally in the studio. And uh, you know what, zero, zero, I give zero fucks about your rules in order to review your product. I'm doing it my way, stay original. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money to pirate respect. And I heard you know Ooh. So you can hand catch it at least.